McLean takes. There's Ashcroft! And the 20 year old just guides it in with his head. It was such a good ball in by Sammy Klingen, and he just had to let it brush off the top of his head. Slater, just a heavy touch. And now Polworth can come away with it. He's had a fine game. It's a poor pass, though. Irvin, and given away, but Mackenzie's done well to win it back. Muirhead now. Boyd's made his run, Muirhead's found him, Chris Boyd, it's 2-0. 16 minutes from time, Chris Boyd has his 13th goal of the season. Robbie Muirhead with a lovely through ball, and Boyd does the rest. Smith's corner, on it's come all the way to Callum Patterson, and Hearts are ahead. 37 minutes played, Callum Patterson, the 19-year-old, who scored here in September, has done it again. Britain takes. Songo! Ross County are level on the stroke of half-time, and it's the Cameroonian defender who has his first goal for the club. That's on for King. Time and space to pick out a man in the middle. He did that, but... It's going to go all the way over for David Smith. Who can he find? Up goes Fraser, won it well, but only as far as Robinson. And ten minutes to go, and Scott Robinson has hearts ahead. Can they hold on this time? McManus's header, and Motherwell have the lead two minutes into the second half. Stephen McManus with a bullet. Peter Pollitt couldn't keep it out. Ainsworth with the corner, and what a header that was. Niall McGinn, easily cleared. Lawson, robbed by McGinn, who hits the shot. Oh, and here's Adam Rooney to score on his debut. Aberdeen are level. And it's Adam Rooney just signed this week from Oldham. McGinn's effort. Palmed away by Nielsen, he could have done much better with that after Lawson was robbed in possession. And here, twisting and turning the substitute, he's done well too. It's nice play this from Motherwell. Good ball across, oh and it's in! Aberdeen were only level for two minutes. And here across, and Zane Francis angle has got the final touch, both he and John Sutton are claiming it, but it's Angle's goal. Last chance saloon for Aberdeen. Reynolds gets up well, oh, it's in! They have levelled it with virtually the last kick of the game. McGinn's corner, Reynolds went up, and it's Anderson who has turned it over the line. Three games without a win for Ibernian. Lost the last two, including that 3-2 defeat to St Mirren. Oh, and a mix-up at the back, and Commons is in, and Chris Commons opens the scoring once again. That's 20 for the season. And Hibbs, well, they've only got themselves to blame, the two centre-backs, Forster and Nelson coming together. Commons was there to profit. A breakdown in communications. Commons clinical as ever. And his incredible run of scoring continues. Puki now, the substitute. Nelson stuck out an arm. Free kick for Celtic. Van Dijk eyeing it up along with Mulgrew. It will be the Dutchman, Virgil van Dijk! And he displays another of his talents. A delightful curling free kick for his fourth goal of the season. This man has been a real find for Neil Lennon. Superb goal. Ambrose, Commons. This is better from Celtic. It's Puki, 
Timo Puki. Oh, he needed a goal, and he's got one. His last goal came against Sibernian at Celtic Park on the 14th of December. That was a winner. This one is the goal that makes the three points certain. As Celtic go three up, Ben Williams perhaps could have done better, though. Stinging shot from Puki. That's headed on, and Puki goes after it. Maybury challenged and barged into the back of Timo Puki. Craig Thompson says penalty. Chris Commons does it again. It's nine in a row from the spot. 21 for the season. And Celtic round off a very good day at the office. 4-0 winners at Easter Road. It's 11 league wins on the bounce and yet another clean sheet. Subscribe now for free and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.